morning everyone we got a lot of work ahead of us this morning but I'm super excited because the ground listen <laughs> the ground is frozen ish now when I come down here it's still gonna be wet but frozen ground makes me a happy girl because that means I'm gonna be able to get over here and do what I need to do with the skid steer but I need to hurry before, yeah, no lambs. I need to hurry before it defrosts. So let me put this down and I'm going to feed all the animals right quick and then I'll get back on. Okay, so this is why I like using the T-posts and the cattle panels to make my small animal runs. Uh, oh yeah, with zip ties. <laughs> because we just were able to open up this whole entire front of Danny's pen. We just bent the cattle panel piece back, took out the T-post, shut the door off. Now you can see the deep bedding. Hold on, I'll turn you around. The deep bedding that we do here is, you can see how it stays dry pretty far down. And then the farther you go, see there, it's already composted. So this is beautiful. It doesn't, it doesn't smell bad or anything. And the deep bedding packs tend to hold a little bit of heat in there because they are composting down. There is carbon and there is moisture and that cause Red Fight Club again. And anyway, so that does cause it to warm up a little bit. So that keeps the animals a little bit warmer. So that's the method of the deep bedding pack. We really, really love it for our small animals. Plus it saves us time. So we're gonna start with this. Also, we moved the milk stanchion over here and I kind of love it, so it might stay. But we're just getting everything ready because babies are coming before we know it, so it's super exciting. I'm just so happy that it's, the holidays are over. Not that I don't love them, I love the holidays, but I love them being over even more. It feels so fresh and new and exciting. All right, so I'm gonna put you guys on a time lapse. We don't have a manure forks, so what inevitably happens is I'll clean some of this out with the skid steer, but I'm gonna have to pitchfork a whole lot of it. So I'm gonna do what I can and then I will be back. See, that works out good, thank you. The problem is that skid steer is a piece of crap. <laughs> it's just, uh, it won't start because it's cold. And it also won't start because it's just a piece of crap. So anyways, you know what isn't a piece of crap? Ye old pitchfork. Let's get to work. Ingenuity. Being a farmer is a lot about ingenuity and uh, some muscles because we're not shy of muscle. Anyways, I wanted to go on a diet start today anyhow, so we're just getting some cardio in. And truthfully, I don't mind shoveling this stuff out. It just takes a little bit longer than what I'd like to do. Machinery makes things a lot easier, but it also makes us a lot lazier. So we work this out great. Harley's using the quad. She's taking it up to the garden, spreading it in the garden. By the time she comes back, I got the second buggy full. Works out great. So 
Okay. I just shed my jacket. I mean, it's still pretty much like 30 degrees outside, but I'm sweating. So back to what we're talking about, the deep bedding. So I told you before that we do the deep bedding because it provides warmth, it starts to break down. And if we have crushed limestone put in here, so it's not like they're sitting on concrete. So there's no ammonia smell here because it is on crushed limestone. So that allows the moisture to seep into the ground. If you were on a concrete situation, your concrete would absorb that moisture, not absorb it, but like let it sit there underneath that hay. And while you be making a bedding pack, you're still gonna have that ammonia smell underneath. So doing this, if you can get away with the natural footing, is best. Does it make it a little bit harder to clean? Oh, sure. But there's handoffs and everything. So, some people might say, well, Kira, why don't you just go ahead and use pine shavings? Well, there's a couple things. I don't actually bed my goats. They bed themselves. They pull the hay out of the feeders and they sleep on what they don't eat, which works out fine for me. The other thing is why I don't use the pine shavings at the store is because I don't know what's on the pine shavings. And I'm using this bedding in my garden. So if we were just a farm raising animals for profit, maybe I would opt to go that route. But I'm not, I'm a homestead. And everything has to come full circle for me, for it to make sense. So therefore, if I know that nothing's been sprayed on my hay, I'm gonna go with that route. Rather than going with shavings that has who knows what on it, and then I'm poisoning my garden and my vegetables, and in the end, my family too. And another thought, just the, you know, things that go through your mind while you're doing physical labor. You know, it's nice when the equipment works, it really is. But things need done even when the equipment's not working, right? And it got me thinking, we as a population are like allergic to hard work, I think. You know, some people aren't, but a lot of people are. And I just think that sometimes hard work's really good for you. Now, I can hear my grandparents in my head going, put your jacket on, you're gonna catch your death of pneumonia. <laughs> but honestly, having a good sweat and letting that cold air hit you is, is good for you. As if you don't have any pre-existing issues, you know. Take what I say for a grain of salt. But I do think that a whole lot of us would be a whole lot healthier if we uh, picked up a pitchfork and started shoveling. Okay. The stall's clean, which I'll show you in a minute, but I took down these hay feeders. They're mostly made for horses, but honestly, I just find the gaps to be way too big and too much hay is able to be wasted. So I'm getting these out of here. Hold on. My plan is to make a hay feeder, a hay bunk along this back wall here. I'm going to use wood. We all know that I have a scrap pile full of wood that I have saved from various things over the years. So we're just gonna use odds and ends and I'm gonna make this hay bunk and it's gonna be real nice. Uh, it'll, it'll look nice, hopefully, and it will operate a lot better than these did. So here we go. All right, look at that. Okay. I didn't use a single level. And as you can see, I really didn't measure. I measured the first one and that was about it. 
But uh, yeah, that looks so good. I got her. I'm putting the goats back in. Pen's clean. No more bedding pack. See, we're level, level. New hay bunk. Now we're ready for babies, Danny. We're ready for babies, Danny. All right, guys, that's about gonna wrap it up. I am finally cold because I stopped shoveling and I'm just really, really, really happy with everything that we got done today. I love this hay bunk. If they don't share very nice, I might put one on the back wall here. It would probably look better anyway. <laughs> And that big hole I chewed in the wall. Oh, yeah, they'll fit. They'll reach. Yeah, I think so. No, they'll reach the food. Oh, yeah, they'll reach the food. Yeah. All right, guys. That's going to do it for today. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow we'll clean the pig pens. And tomorrow I've got something in store for the cows. We're going to do the redneck hay ring 2.0. <laughs> so I hope you guys will join us. Make sure you like and subscribe on the way out and leave a comment down below. Um, and it helps the video, it helps the channel out if you guys do that. We're so very, very close to our first monetization and I'm just thrilled about that. Uh, also in the description, I've been leaving um, how you can find us on socials. And I also, I, I have a um, um, an account on buymeacoffee.com it's a really cute, it's a really cute thing. You know, I live on coffee. And so therefore, you know, people have asked like, how can we, how can we help you out? If you want to buy me a coffee, I would be more than grateful. So <laughs> that link is down below too. You can buy Harley a coffee too, cause she loves it. But anyways, that's going to do it for today. All that stuff is down in the bio. I do have an Etsy shop open. So I'm going to leave that down below as well. And as I get things made, they'll start getting uploaded. In the meantime, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.